hello my gorgeous friends on the internet so we are also going to do the same thing we did here but in this case now we are going to do it for the login page for the registration page okay so if you look here now the register page actually has the same button but we just change the text to register so instead of uh, recreating those stuff i did initially what i'm going to do now is just to copy this stuff again so it's still a consumer widget and the listener is still from the um, authentication provider as well so what i'm just going to do is just to copy this stuff and i'm going to change the test to register test okay so i think yeah i'm making sense from what i'm doing so i'm going to paste it here so i'm going to uh, import the consumer widget okay the authentication provider the consumer widget uh the show message that will be shown and uh, i'm also going to change this stuff now to register Alright, so in this case now we have more than two fields. We have the first name, we have the last name, the email, and the password. So it won't be nice. We just check uh, for we only validate for email. Okay, so I need to have more or or call yeah or or. Okay, all. So if uh, the first name. Okay, like so or. Uh, the last name as well like so okay so in this case now we're going to change this stuff from login to register okay register user and it needs us to pass the first name of the user and so in this case we're going to pass the first name the test the trim as well and we can pass the last name as well okay the test the trim okay i think one more thing is missing uh, which is the contest so we might use the contest later to navigate to another page so i'll just use uh, add the contest here okay so i'll be adding this one to also for the login page okay where did we call that button okay from here so we'll be adding the contest as well Alright, so we are good now for the register. <coughs> sorry. So for the register and also for the login. So let me save this up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head over to the login pa register page. And you can see we might have, we're going to get a response, a success response. So let me add the first name, uh, last name, email, let's say g at g.com. And then the password just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right. So you can collapse this and click on register. And hold on. You will see we get a response right under here if the registration was successful. Okay. Error occurred. And body class instance string has no instant getter body. Okay. So something is wrong somewhere. I don't really know what our error is, but let's check to see what it is. So let's go to our register page. Are we missing something? Okay, let's do a hot restart and then try that one more time. So because I feel my implementation is correct. And uh, okay, let's try to log in, create an account one more time. Error user with email already exists. So why did it show us that error message initially? All right, that is one thing I don't understand now. It's created a user, but then it's showing us an error message. Okay, and uh, we are going to figure that out real quick. So what I'm going to do now is to create another user using another email. So I'll be using. Okay, let's say g.com. I think the last one we used was not g.com, right? And let's see. Error user with email already exists. Okay, let's use something else. GT. Because I want to see a successful response. So this is more like error we are going to get if the user already exists. But now we are not getting... Okay, let me go back. Now, if you notice, we are not getting that snack bar, right? We are not getting the snack bar. That is because we need to actually return... We need to return the message here from the response message. 
okay request and then the message okay so if you, if you look at this now the message make sure you decode it before you call message okay so let's save it again to because i want to make sure we get that snack bar okay user with email already exists awesome so we got it and uh, let me use gt to see all right save it i want to get a different response oops no such class this dynamic has no instance get a body all right so where are we getting that error from and that is what i don't understand right now okay something does not have an instance of body okay sorry my bad we have already used our json.decode response.body and then right here i'm still calling response.body again so it's not supposed to be like that so let's just print out the response directory directly okay but if i create another account now you see tell us that the user already exists okay yeah so i got my bad i was actually calling a body twice after i've already decoded the body here so it's not advised let's check to make sure we are not doing the same mistake in okay we are also doing the same mistake here so we just need to remove that okay so in here now i'm going to use gt gg oops okay so in here now i'll be using uh, g.co okay as the email right like so and then we can save it now you're going to see we're going to get a full response all right message user created successfully user you can see the user id the first name the email address and also the time so you can see for when we create a new user the token is not returned okay the token is not returned and the token is very needed okay if we are creating a new user so let's try to uh, log in a user to see what will happen uh, what's the email again i think it is g g at okay g at g dot co okay so then the password is going to be one two three four five six is it five six or six okay let's log in to see okay invalid credential i believe is five okay all right so we are still doing the same okay let me save this sorry i didn't save that changes i made okay let's log in you see you're gonna see the full token of the user now okay status message user logged in successfully user id first name auth token so assuming this auth token was returning from the register page what we can just do is just navigate the user directly to the auth token and then save the user's credentials but we are not going to be saving the user's credentials whenever we are registering a new user we are only going to do that when we log in a new user so you guys in the next section we are going to work on database and okay for that before we move on to the next section let me just uh, see if we have time okay i think we have some time so what i'm going to do now whenever we register a new user okay once the account is created what i just have to do is to navigate the user to the login page right that would be much more better so i will go over to i will go over to my splash screen where i already have that method okay so i just log move once you log in once you create a new account and it shows you successful we'll now navigate you to the we'll navigate you to okay inside here sorry we'll navigate you to the login page okay so you can see the reason why i had to pass contest inside this parameter okay because you can actually uh, perform navigation inside here as well okay don't worry all of this code will be available on github for you to work with so now if we save that now okay let's say i save it now and uh, so there's no need now printing the user's auth or stuff like that it's not really needed or getting all this stuff is not really needed okay so we're just going to leave all this stuff like that because we're not doing any we're not performing any stuff inside the lo login page just to navigate the user back to home page okay so what we can do now we can say hello which is the name and i can say add so email now will be h at gmail.com and the password is going to be one two three four five all right okay so now let's click on register and it's going to take us now account created so to take us now to login page for you to log in with those your credentials so now we can have h at gmail.com and then you can have one two three four five okay and then login yep 
login successful let's go down to see the response sorry login successful so now we have the time added the auth token and everything so now in the next section we have seen how to, in this section we have seen how to uh, create a new user login a new user so using rest api so in the next section we are going to create a database using shared preference to store the user's token and the user's id which is this id and also this auth token so the auth token will be used for authorization and the user id will be used to identify the users uniquely so we're going to see how to store that from this login page and then once we store it we can now navigate the user to the home page where they can now see our tags or create a new tags and stuff like that thank you so much for watching this this section we're going to see in the next section